Let's get to your draft because there were a couple, maybe even several of your future Stanley Cup winning teammates in your draft. What a draft. It was in Montreal, right? I mean, a future Hall of Famer. Tell me about it when you heard that uh, you had been drafted by the Pittsburgh Penguins, the emotions, everything that led up to it. Did you know Pittsburgh was going to take you? Take it from the top. Yeah. You know what? I had a pretty good feeling Pittsburgh was going to take me. Um, they had actually invited me the year before, but the rules were different back then. Now they have the rookie camps and they have all that, that stuff where, um, whatever the development camps where you could go to, uh, now, but back then they invited me actually to training camp as an eight, 18 year old and, or a 19 year old, I guess. So just, uh, I was, I just finished my 18 year old year, I guess it was. And, and, uh, I was getting ready for the following season, but, um, they had Bruce Harrelson was their, their Western scout at the time. And, and, uh, he was at a ton of our games and, and, uh, I knew he really liked me and I knew he was pushing hard. Um, and then, you know, I'd run into him out and he says, we're going to, you know, I, I really like you. We're going to draft you and, you know, and stuff like that. So I ran into him at the bar a couple of times. Probably, I would, probably wasn't allowed to be there, but, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, you know, and then I got to Montreal and, you know, I had some interviews with a few teams. I talked to a couple of teams, uh, but nothing significant. And back then you, the night, the 19, 20 year olds never really got drafted till the fourth round on. So, yeah. You know, I, I figured it was going to be somewhere in the fourth round. I was going to go. And then, you know, as I was getting Pittsburgh was coming close, I saw Mario getting up to leave because he was at the table as in Montreal. He was at the table for the first few rounds and he left just as I was coming down. So, um, <laughs> you know, so it was I didn't get a chance to meet him then. But obviously I got a chance to meet him not short, shortly after that. But, uh, you know, it was awesome. It was uh, it was a great experience. Uh, Ricky Kern, you know, he brought me there and. Um, you know, we had a real good time and, and, um, you know, in Montreal and, and enjoyed it. It was the first time I was there. So, um, made the best of it. 